So our first file is about William Lloyd Garrison. He was born December 10, 1805 in Newburyport, Massachusetts. His dad uh, left him in 1808 and his mom died in 1823. At 25, he joined the anti-slavery movement. William Lloyd Garrison started his own newspaper called The Liberator and it talked about abolitionists and abolitionary. Uh, he promoted Liberia, which was a, a settlement off the coast of Africa uh, for slaves to go to be freed. And in December 1833, Arthur and Lewis Tappan, along with William Lloyd Garrison and another 60 delegates of both races and genders, met in Philadelphia to found the American Anti-Slavery Society. He would soon believe and help to give women the rights after abolitionist, after he was an abolitionist, and he would die on May 24, 1879. Another file is of Arthur and Lewis Tappan. Arthur Tappan was born in 1786, and Lewis Tappan was born in 1788 in Northampton, Massachusetts. When, Ar when Arthur was 15 and Lewis 13, they both moved to Boston. In 1826, Arthur and Lewis moved to New York City to become businessmen. Once the fugitive slave state of 1850 was passed, they donated their money to the Underground Railroad. Arthur Tappan died on... July 23rd, 1865, and Lewis Tappan died in 1873. The last file is about Frederick Douglass. He was born in February 1818 in Cordova, Maryland. Frederick Douglass was around 20 when he successfully escaped slavery. Frederick Douglass wanted to join a white Methodist church, but the church was segregated. He would later join the African Methodist Episcopal. Zion Church, along with many other abolitionists, supported women's rights. Douglas was huge leader. Douglas was a huge leader during the Civil War in the North. Uh, the Underground Railroad was a network of secret routes and safe houses established in the United States in the mid 1800s for slaves to go in and hide so they could be set free. The gag rule was a rule that limits or forbids the raising or consideration of a particular topic by members of the legislative. Uh, of the legislative branch. Kansas Nebraska Act repealed the Missouri Compromise and explains how each new ter territory will have the people define if the territorial territory will be a slave state. The Fugitive Slave Law. Uh, this was a seizure and return of runaway slaves to their owners. So slave owners already had the right to do this, but the law and federal government had to help if they were asked. This law would later, later be repealed in 1864 and an abolitionist was a person who favors the abolition or practice of an institution.